up for as a spectator a warm welcome i'm your match commentator derek ray and my partner ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk is stuart robson and only four teams are left in this cup competition we're at the semi-final stage how's it going to go stuart well what a match up between these two excellent teams both have played really well to reach this stage of the tournament but which one is going to go through to the final i think this could be really close today so we can check on the starting lineup. Jan Zoma is the goalkeeper. Manuel Akanji plays with Ricardo Rodriguez in the fullback positions. And it's an interesting looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed from the start. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Matteo Darmian starts alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Jorginho. Matteo Retegi. Well, can they open up the defence here? And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Jorginho. Di Lorenzo. And it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Ebisha. Embolo. Really good strong tackle, and it'll be a throw in. Barella. An important interception. Well, here we can see it again, and he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Well, out of play, under pressure. Indoye. Ball back with Italy now. Alessandro Bastoni. Federico Di Marco. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. He has time to play it over. Italy recovering possession well. Alessandro Bastoni. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. No panic, just passing. Into the advanced position. Pellegrini. On to Jorginho. Magnificent defending. And threading it through. Mancini, Alessandro Bastoni,
Di Marco. Pellegrini. Oh, good vision. Still looking for space. And angling it back. And a goal to square the game. Edge of the seat stuff. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. So back underway. They've levelled it at 1-1 here. Rodriguez. Akanji has it. Granit Xhaka. Got attacking possibilities. Ebisha. Not made it look routine, but read it well. Retegi. Di Marco. Back and forth in terms of possession. And playing it through. Could it be? Oh, but denied. Full credit to the keeper. Well, of course he should score, but what a save that is. Trying to deliver it accurately. And still dangerous. Granit Xhaka and on the ball is Cher can he give them the lead now the cut back marvellous anticipation Alessandro Bastoni Varela has it Giovanni Di Lorenzo Damian and on to Di Lorenzo and Italy regaining possession and the referee blows the whistle it is a free kick a very timely interception Pellegrini that's very good refereeing to let the play flow well not giving the opposition a look in that strong play Pellegrini not a passing sequence that's easy on the eye I think I spoke too soon wasn't the best of passes finally bodies forward and the break looks on well it broke down alas Must take the lead here. Nicely blocked. And below. And it might be. No way through. And Italy giving the ball away. Opportunity. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Away they go again. Second half is underway here.
Pellegrini, excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. Oh, the threat is there. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Cuts it back. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Trying to pick out a teammate. A goal! Well, still a long way to go in this one, but could it be one foot in the final? If the celebrations are anything to go by, the fans believe that's the case. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Well underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Vargas. Dan and Doye. Perfect challenge. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Pellegrini on the ball Bastoni losing possession a bit easily and he's in frantic action from one end to the other they weren't ahead for long and this match is level again Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So back underway, dead level, 2-2. Barella. Well, that is how to play advantage. Alessandro Bastoni. Nicely cut out. And they've given him too much space. And the decision is one of offside here. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Barella. On to Jorginho. Jorginho. And giving the ball away. He's using his strength to good effect. Di Lorenzo. He could pick out a teammate. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Has someone to play it to. Marvellous anticipation. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Ebisha. Freuler in possession. Just the challenge that was required. Di Lorenzo. Launched into the penalty area. Able to deal with the threat. Braille Embolo. Well, nothing to split the two sides, but this move looks promising. Remo Freuler. Well read to put an end to that attack.
Remo Freuler. And below. Can they forge ahead? Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. 20 minutes remaining. Jorginho. And the pass deftly cut out. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Alessandro Bastoni. And now with Di Lorenzo. Di Lorenzo. Barella. There's a cut back. Real defensive resilience. Jorginho. On to Barella. dealt with it they decided that now is the time to go to the bench and he's fired over the corner and a goal how important could that be in the story of this semi-final wild celebrations Well, here it is again, and you have to say, it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Well, late in the game here, they know what they need, and that's an equaliser. And it goes! The leveller! Thrilling stuff here! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So the ball rolling again at 3 all. Just 10 minutes to go. Di Marco. Good tackle taken away. Not the best challenge, free kick. Well, you can see how fiercely they're concentrating on finding a winner. Pellegrini. Chance to play it in. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? He's enjoying space. Embolo. It did look on for them, but not to be. Xhaka. Might be able to set up the chance. Far from a good pass. Donnarumma. Matteo Damian. And Mancini on the ball. Can they nudge in front late on here? Must be! And a goal! And I'll tell you what, at this late stage, it might truly be final in more ways than one.
Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Well, how about this? 4-3. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Skamaka. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. climbed the mountain they've made it through to the final here at the euros well they're in the final and deservedly so but that was tight in the end they played some lovely attacking football but at times they look vulnerable to the counter-attack and they will need to improve that in the final well he put in a really thorough performance here Stuart. well he did everything today his energy skill and movement was just too good for those defenders it was a really good display